Hey guys, Chris here, back with Pre-K Place and back with video three in our how-to series. This one's a really, really fun one. Uh, this is an exciting one, So, and this is gonna be a little bit messier than most. Uh, we're gonna talk today about writing, okay? Now, in Pre-K, writing is a huge skill. A lot of our kids don't come in with this skill, and it's something we really wanna get them pushed as far as we can by the end of the year. Uh, we know we're going to start with name writing, but hopefully we get them to use an invented spelling, writing CBC words, those kind of things by the end of the year. That was always really my goal. But putting a pencil in a kid's hand with a piece of paper and trying to get them to sit and write is not exactly the most glorious, you know, glamorous task in the world. So I've got an activity I'm going to show you here today with some stuff uh, of something really fun that's going to get those kids that may be apprehensive about writing and may not really want to put pencil to paper to do it. And it's going to use three things. I've got a big Ziploc bag. I believe this is a gallon size. Um, you're going to want to go with a really good Ziploc bag here and you'll see why in just a second. Hair gel. This is a nice Dollar Tree purchase. Uh, I don't exactly need any anymore, but uh, this is going to come in really handy. And food coloring. I'm going to use green today, but of course you can get wild neon colors, all sorts of things. So we're going to make what's called a gel bag, which is basically going to be dyed hair gel inside a Ziploc bag. This is going to be really, really fun because you bust these out in the classroom. Kids are going to love to play with these. They're really cool to the touch. You can put other things inside of them. And it's just you're, you're getting to write and form letters in something new, right? This is not pencil or paper. So this is a really, really simple process. Now, you can find recipes and things online of how much hair gel to put in a bag and those kind of things. I've tried that before. And... Getting hair gel out of a measuring cup is not exactly an easy task. So we're gonna squirt some hair gel in, okay? What you're gonna want, you're gonna want enough hair gel to sort of coat the bag, but you also wanna be able to move it where there's empty spots so you can do some writing, okay? So we're gonna put some hair gel in and you sorta of are gonna to have to sort of learn this. So you might take it, close it up and see how much hair gel I have. Looks like I could use quite a bit more here. So, I'm put some more in. Again, this is just a Dollar Tree hair gel purchase. Uh, I've gone many times and bought all the hair gel they had. Um, a dollar bottle will usually make you three or four bags. So, you know, depending on how many you want to make, I've actually made sets for everyone in the classroom to take home before um and then i've had some sets to use in the classroom so that looks pretty good i could spread it out a little bit more now i mentioned having a really high quality ziploc bag because you don't want leaks because you'll have hair gel everywhere now this is cool this is squishy you can do things with it but you can't really see anything so in goes the food coloring and i told you this is going to be messy because i've got Hair gel on me already. Unscrew the food coloring here. Again, it'll take a few times. I'm just going to add a few drops here. And you're just going to close it back up. Now, another item you might want is tape. And actually, before you use this in a pre-K classroom, I would strongly recommend you get some clear packing tape. You're gonna take a couple of layers, three or four layers probably across both sides, just to prevent it from being opened and to prevent anything from leaking out, okay? You might, depending on your bag, you might wanna do the side. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna rub the hair gel around because I'm trying to mix the food coloring in with the gel so that I get a bag that you can actually see. Now, you could potentially let the kids help you make these. I'm not sure that I would recommend that simply because we do have food coloring that can get everywhere and we, do, we could have potential leaks and that kind of stuff. So this might be something that um, you make on your own. Um, I've actually had parent volunteers help me make these before uh, to make one home for everybody. So here's our gel bag. Now, not perfect. There's still some, some gel up here that's not green, but you get the idea. Now, I'm going to use the wall behind me since I really don't have table space. And what we're going to do here is when you have this nice flat on, on a flat surface, 
you can form letters, right? Letters, numbers, shapes, whatever you might want. Again, really cool to the touch, really squishy, kind of messy, which kids are going to like. And this wipes are erase, and you can make other things right. So I can make my name. And it stays there pretty good until I get rid of it. That's why you want to make sure you sort of get the right amount of hair gel in this bag so that there's enough to write with, but it will move when you want to. So again, really, really fun. So a couple things to remember about this. Make sure you tape the top. Make sure you tape the top. Also, if you've got one of those classes where we're going to fight over who has what color, make them all the same color, right? Uh, I had a student before who had to have the color blue, so I would make sure to have a blue one ready for him. Those sorts of things. Think about how many you might want to make. These are things that I used a few times in small groups, so I had enough for six or seven kids in a small group. These are also things that I had in the writing center, so I'd have a few in the writing center. And then I made some to take home. Again, if you're making a class set of these, you're looking at... I don't know, six or seven dollars, you know, maybe total. But these are really easy, fun things to make. Uh, one way that I actually used these was I had the small lap size dry erase boards. So I actually taped these down to the board. And so that way it really gave the kids a, a flat surface to write on. Um, I've also seen teachers take them and tape them down to the table. That way, while a kid's working with them, they don't have them up and squishing. And that's gonna prevent some of the leakage and breakage and that kind of thing too. One of the really neat things about this is as kids are writing, because it's got some transparency, you can actually take an index card or a sentence strip with a name, a sight word, a letter, whatever it is you may want the kids to focus on. You can actually slide it up underneath and it's almost like a tracing page that the kids can trace over. So it actually lets them view it so they can work on that. And then they can easily just slide it out and move independently. So Joe bags, really fun, a little messy, really easy, but just a really fun, neat way for kids to practice their writing. Now, moving past hair gel, you can use sand. Put a little bit of sand in a tray or a cookie sheet or, you know, anything like that and let the kids write. I've seen people use pudding, shaving cream. Shaving cream is an awesome, fun one. Shaving cream is really engaging. It smells really good for your classroom and it actually cleans your tables and Kids are covered in shaving cream, and 10 minutes later, it's all disappeared, and there's really no cleanup to it. So that's really fun. Uh, like I said, I've seen people do pudding, sugar, anything that's got a neat texture. Because right now, what we're really focused on is I'm not worried about you holding that pencil. I'm worried about your formation. And you can take being able to form it with your fingers and your hands over real quick to using your fine motor and using your pencil grip. So... Gel bags, hopefully kind of gives you some neat ideas of uh, ways to really engage kids in all facets of your classroom when it comes to writing. We really want to improve these writing areas and get that writing up. And one of the ways to get the writing up is to make it exciting for kids. So try these out. Let me know how they go. Uh, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.